Oh, okay, I gotta prop this up so it ain't blowing around. It's windy out here. Okay, now, second, there's something you need to see on this foot. Okay, um, second, let me get some gloves on. It's not rotten yet, but still, my ugly old hands. Looks more professional. Okay. Now, um, what I want to show you on here is uh, something I noticed after uh, the anatomy videos were done. And that is, if you'll remember, okay, if you'll remember, okay, I cut off this layer of uh, sole corium which I told you was very thick and padded just like a Dr. Scholl's gel insert and uh, of course this has uh, multiple vessels and uh, blood vessels and um, there's an artery that runs through there the name is escaping me at the second there that'll give my enemies something to complain about well, that's not what I'm here to talk about, is the uh, blood supply to the hoof. I'm here to talk about something that I noticed after I cut this off, when I put the foot back into the capsule. So we're going to just slide it in right there. Look at that. Look at how that fits. Isn't that awesome? Now, what I want you to notice here is the gap. Let's see here if I can do this right. This will really show you how thick um, that layer of solcorium was that I took out. Now, just a second here. Let's see if you can see that. Okay. Okay. Previously, before I took that off, it filled up this area here. See there? I could just take that right on down through and around and bring it out the other end probably <laughs> I don't want to hurt anything or hurt anything I'm not going to hurt anything I don't want to run uh, the lamina on there but um, on both sides if you can see there's a gap right here where I took that off let's see if maybe we can turn this just a hair. Maybe we can make it just go all the way through. Eh, probably not. Where, how far do we go? Oh. Okay. I want you to see, right around the edge there is a big gap where I cut that solcorium off. Which I thought was very interesting. Which goes to show that again that you don't you haven't just got hard bone here okay in the toe stay area where the sole grows right in here right around here you know it's quite substantially padded by the sole corium that's on the bottom of this foot and as I said you know when the horse is alive and uh when the horse is alive and uh, there's blood swelling in this, uh, I believe Dr. Boker called it his hemodynamic uh, therm. Cribes, I can't remember what he called it. Something about hemodynamic blood flow, blah blah blah, or something like that. I haven't drank enough water today, so I'm a little bit brain dead. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, I just wanted to show you how, if you really get a look in there there's a gap okay right here and there wasn't a gap before I cut that off before I cut the sole corium off so that just goes to show you how thick that sole corium is there see there and on both sides Okay, 
So anyway, this coffin bone, I'm going to take and put it in borax and Clorox, which will eat all the meat off and uh, give me a nice clean coffin bone to put in there. Actually, I think the next one I do, I'm going to leave the cartilage here on it. We'll see what happens. Okay. I'll give you some more pictures of that there. like a boot or a shoe. This is the foot. If it weren't for the fact that the laminas connect together, of course could just, you know, the skin and, I mean, you know, the sole and everything connected by the horn tubules and all that, a horse could just take his little shoe off for the night. The fact that that would hurt like heck the way it slips in so easy. Feels so good to take off those those shoes, doesn't it? Okay. Yeah. 